Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 1 of our Selenium Grid with Docker video series. And in this video, we will be talking about an introduction and getting started with Selenium Grid containers. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch Understanding ABC of Docker video series in our Execute Automation channel since in this particular video series we discussed a lot about how to work with dockers and what docker is all about and how to work with different kinds of containers linking containers and all those stuff so because this video series is going to be a very very handy video series to start working with this selenium grid with docker containers all right so let's get started what is selenium grid selenium grid allows you to run your test on different machines against different browsers in parallel that is running multiple tests at same time against different machines running different browsers and operating system. Essentially, Selenium Grid support distributed test executions. So that's what Selenium Grid is all about. We discuss Selenium Grid a lot in our Exit Automation channel while working with running the Selenium Grid on a virtual machines and also running the Selenium Grid on a Raspberry Pi. So we discuss a lot of things about Selenium Grid. So in this particular video series, we are going to work with Selenium Grid execution on a docker container a classical selenium grid architecture will look something like this we will have a selenium hub which is going to be the role of the selenium server you will assign that as a selenium hub which is going to be a router to route the request from any client to any of its what is called as nodes so it will send the request to those nodes and these nodes will be essentially a virtual machine or it can be a remote machine or it can be either a physical machine. So that is how a classical Selenium architecture looks like. So you will have a Selenium hub and different kinds of Selenium nodes running. Whereas in Selenium grid architecture with Docker, it's going to look something like this. We will have a Selenium hub container. We will have multiple Selenium node containers. And each containers will have either different kinds of browsers running or it can be either a different machines operating systems. But as of now in Docker's we have a Linux container, but Windows container is coming soon with Windows Server 2016. So if that comes, then you will have a container with even a Linux flavor of a Docker container. So, well, that is kind of future thing, but yes, you can run different node containers and you can link those node containers with the Selenium hub containers and perform the grid architectural automation testing. So this is what we're going to do in this small video series of Selenium grid with Docker's. So what to learn in Docker, where to learn in Docker, you can actually learn as we discussed previously, you can learn from understanding the ABC of Docker video series on Excel automation channel. So you can learn from there. And getting things ready for Selenium test for this particular video series, we need to have following installed in our machines before starting the Selenium test. The first and foremost thing is the Docker for Windows. So you should have Docker for Windows installed and you should pull the latest Selenium hub container. And also you should pull the latest Selenium node for Firefox and Chrome in your machine. So if you have everything installed into your machine, then you are pretty much good to go for getting started with this particular video series. And also, you should also have a Windows 10 64-bit with the latest update. If you have already installed the anniversary update, then you are very good to go for Docker for Windows since Docker for Windows actually works only with the latest version of Windows 10 as well as with the latest updates, especially the anniversary update. Let's start with the Dockers for Selenium guys and see how things works. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.